My name is Sarah Mecca Abdurrahman. Um, I consider myself an emerging Somali Indian multidisciplinary artist based in Ottawa and Montreal. I'd say my practice involves both mixed media painting and video art, and through the reworking of familial family photo albums, my work addresses my cultural history using my art practice kind of as a means to reconnect um, with my heritage. And I'd say through this process, I explore concepts of migration, and familial history, and discrimination. I received a BFA from Concordia in 2020 um, in studio arts. I also did some murals at the Manita Community Service Center and Lansdowne and the Glebe Park. My work has been featured in CBC Arts Exhibitionist. And uh, most recently, I had a show at the Ottawa Art Gallery in the group exhibition titled Filtered. Um, it was a group collaborative mural work. So yeah, that's a little introduction. I'd say inspiration comes from many different things. I'd say usually my works are really born from a vague idea. I always think of the scale and surface or the aesthetic first. So whenever I start a project, I'm often unsure of the approach or the subject matter, but I usually know the emotions um, I want to convey or elicit. And then in terms of inspiration, it's really just media or um, other artists going through Instagram, Pinterest, seeing the movies or just walking around. I'm really inspired by figuration. So if I see a specific body reference, that'll really inspire me. Um, and I'm, I'm really inspired by other artists and their use of narrative and different kind of narratives they use to depict different Black experiences or how they reference migration or family. So I'd say all those things are really what inspire me. Since I do have a, a graphic background, I wasn't uh, studied, I didn't study graphic arts. It was just mostly self-taught, um, but I've always had an interest in um, Photoshop or video editing and motion. I do motion graphics now, but I think it really started while I was in university. Every year I was always experimenting and trying out um, new things. And one of our assignments was to do a, a collage with our oil paint. And at the time I was really kind of confused how to approach it because we had to use paper, but also oil and um, oil and paper doesn't, in terms of the longevity of your painting, it won't always mix so well. So I had the idea of going on to Photoshop and planning out my whole painting on my computer. So then I knew exactly where my paper would go and where my oil paint would go. So it wouldn't touch. So I would print the whole, composition out in full life size and then just start gluing it on uh, my canvas. And then since then, after doing that project, I just loved that process and I've been doing it ever since. And what I loved is that my professors at university, they really challenged us to try new ideas and they really were supportive of our new ideas. And yeah, so that's how it really started. And I don't know, I've just been doing it ever since. I'm not the best at knowing my art history. So I'm always trying to learn more of my art history. But I'd say that I'm really inspired by artists like Carrie James Marshall and Jordan Castile. And I think my work really references their work and maybe subconsciously references old periods in art history because they do that as well. In terms of Carrie James Marshall, I really love his use of color and the compositions. So maybe I guess I do it a bit subconsciously, I guess. I don't think it's important at all. I think it just comes naturally to uh, many artists, especially artists of color and black artists. Our identity is such a huge part of us, our culture, our food, our media. It's really a big aspect of our life, especially living in North America, artists of African descent. We are not always um, connected to our homeland. So for me, a way to reconnect with my homeland is making work about my identity. So I don't think it's important, but it happens often. But sometimes it does happen where it's expected of us. I noticed in university, a lot of professors, or it's mostly a white space, so they kind of expect you to make work on your identity. So I don't think it, we should do it if we don't want to, but yeah, it comes naturally. If it's the same project, I will work on a lot of paintings at the same time. Um, but if it's different projects and different themes, I find that difficult to work on at the same time. 
So I'll really just do one project at a time unless a deadline makes me have to do them all at the same time. But when, when it's the same project and I'm doing like maybe four or five paintings, I'll do maybe like an hour or two hours on one painting and switch to the next. I think when you, as an artist or as a painter, you can easily get sick, or at least for myself, I can easily get sick of my paintings. So I just need to go on to the next one. I'm constantly switching and multitasking with my paintings. I'm not sure exactly how I could situate my art in uh, the contemporary art or in terms of Black Canada, but I'd say, I think in terms of the Black artists in Canada, there's a growing movement of a lot of emerging artists. So I'd say I'm proud to be amongst those artists that are trying to create visibility in terms of the dialogue of Canadian painting. But I think when you think of the context of Black art and in Canada, and then I often think of the Black Lives Matter movement that was really came back heavily in 2020. So in terms of that, I always think about, I'm always trying to think about that in my work. And that was really a year of trauma for many of us. So I often think of how to not, I guess, recreate trauma in terms of my own work, since my work is really heavily based on my identity or experiences or discrimination. I'm really careful to think about who my work is for. And my work is really for my community, the Black audience. So I really want to show joy and community and I really don't want to create uh, more trauma in my work. So I'd say in that terms, I'm really trying to represent joy, family and highlighting stories and commenting on history. I'd say one of my coup de coeur is maybe, I mean, my opinions on my works change all the time, but I'd say one that I'm always confident or proud of is my painting um, Funeral. It was, that was actually the first work that I did a collage and oil paint at the same time. And it was really large scale, bright yellow. It was a painting of uh, my family. So it was my portrait of my father when he was a kid, my aunt, my grandfather, and my uncle. And um, I really tried to play it with a balance of color and the narrative. And the painting is titled Funeral because it was the day after uh, my grandmother had passed away, but they had just taken a picture um, I don't know, it just seemed like such a pure moment, but also sad. But um, they had some of them had smiles on their faces. So I really wanted to play with the balance between the two. And even still today, I did that work um, in 2017, but still today I, I hear a lot of uh, positive comments on that work. Um, so I feel like I feel like I probably did something good with that one. So I'm proud of it. I don't have many future projects that I'm working on, but I do have a couple of shows coming out. I have one. I'm in Montreal that hasn't been announced yet, but there's also one in Ottawa that's just been announced today. It's with Wallach's Galleries. So that will be um, in February. And in terms of for the rest of the year, I've sold most of my art collection. So I'm just working on creating a new body of work. So that's kind of what I'm working on now.